Hey everyone, welcome to your workout. Today we're doing another version of our total body flow. It's gonna be a little cardio focused. And right here at the beginning, we're gonna invite you to join us in our warm up. And a reminder, with almost every workout video that we do, we warm up by doing the exercises that you're gonna do just without weight. We go a little slower. Sometimes we even go for a little less time, a little more time. At any rate, our first exercise that we want to get ready for is a squat. We love our squats here, we do lots of those. The reminder is that this first round is all about you checking in with your body, making sure that it feels pretty good for you. Exercise number two, today we're gonna to try an overhead press. Again, you're gonna see me carry a weight. Maggie might go body weight, she might even get her backpack involved today. Whatever you're choosing to do, just remember, this has got to feel good. Some people struggle with an overhead press. If that's not your thing, the quick reminder, you can always get down into a plank, do a push-up if you'd like to do that instead, or even just hold a plank. Exercise three is gonna be a lunge. Sometimes when we lunge, we keep it on one side. Today, we're gonna be alternating, so you're gonna see me do that right now. And then my other reminder with a lunge, for some people, their knees and the hips just don't like this. If you'd rather do a squat instead, right, squat round two, you can do that. If you'd rather do a deadlift, you can do that. If you'd rather do a side lunge or a curtsy lunge, sometimes just changing up the position of your body a little bit feels better. So again, feel free to experiment a little bit. Now the last movement that we're gonna have here is a curl. And again, I always say these feel funny when you don't have a weight. What the heck am I doing here? Feels a little light, of course it is. Um, but yeah, this is still getting us warmed up. Now on that note, if anyone if you're new to this and you either don't have equipment or you're just kind of you know on the on the fence about you know using a weight you're like oh, I'm just not sure, by all means go body weight. Just mimic here. I promise you, you will get stronger just from trying these movements. All right. Now here's the point. We've warmed up. We almost always take about a 15 to 30 second break here. This is your chance to get whatever tools you need and get some water. You know, kind of get your mind ready and set for what's coming up here. Now, a quick reminder: it's a video. You may always pause if we're moving too fast for you. If you just need more break time, you can do that. You do what you need to do so that you can move well. We're gonna get started here in three, two, one, begin. Now with a flow, the goal here, or sorry, the goal, the outline here is that you're going to do this movement alone for one minute. Every minute after this, we're gonna add another movement, those ones that you warmed up with, until you're flowing with about four different movements. You're, you're really kind of going from one movement to the next, almost creating like a little mini circuit. Okay, so that's what's coming. Right now, just focus on your squat. Your entire intention here is to make sure this looks and feels good. You had that first round of warm ups to do a check in. If you've needed to change your posture up a little bit, by all means, make that change and stick with what you've got as long as it's feeling good. Our rule of thumb, our guideline is, if it ever isn't feeling good, or if you're just hating it, change it up. Stop first, pause, and then come up with a solution, right? Change it up so that you can keep moving, so that you can keep working on getting better here. In about four seconds, you're gonna add that second movement, that overhead press. Two, one, and add the movement, right? We keep doing our squat, and then we press that weight up above our head. Again, if this feels okay, keep chasing after it. If any part of this, you're thinking, ah, oh, I just, don't like the way that feels on my shoulders, please change it up. You can absolutely do a squat and then get down into plank or a push-up. That's an option for you. Feel free to explore and always do what works best for you. We love that. You've got about 30 seconds here. Keep rolling. Your goal is to keep it looking and feeling good. Now, we are big proponents of doing workouts multiple times, right? We, we, we don't really believe in the concept of just the workout of the day and then you never do it again. We think of our workouts are like skills that you can practice and improve upon and get better at. You've got about 10 seconds left. I'm gonna finish that thought in just a moment. I want you to finish well here, okay? In about four seconds, you're gonna add that third move. Reminder, it's a lunge. Okay, squat overhead press and then you're going to lunge on both legs remember do whichever style lunge feels best for you i'm partial to those back step lunges i love those i'll do those the majority of the time squat press lunge lunge and then do it again all right now back to that idea of workouts as skills that you can practice we want you to do this again and again sometimes we're going to recommend that you do it again and again if this is your first time doing this workout, your entire goal is just, again, look good and feel good. 
We're trying not to be too surprised by the movements. If this is the second, third, 17th time that you've done this particular workout, you should be feeling better at this, right? You should know what's coming, and the goal is for you to improve a little bit. And you can do that a couple of different ways. You can add, you know, that body flex that we talk about in some of our other videos. You can add some speed, you can add some weight, you can add control. Do whatever you can do to make this look good and feel like a workout. And then we're gonna add our last move, that curl. So again, you're still stacking. Lunge, lunge, get that curl in there. And then we're gonna go squat to press. You're gonna lunge on both legs, any style lunge you want. And then you're gonna curl that weight up. And that finishes that little mini circuit and you're gonna begin again. Now if you've been holding a weight, you're gonna realize, holy cow, this is, this is cardio. This is feeling a little bit of strength. I know, I held that kettlebell in that goblet style like right in front of my chest. And by, the time, by this point, I was thinking, oh my goodness. This is kind of hard, right? So don't be surprised if it feels like a workout. Remember, that's eventually going to be your goal. We always write our intentions. Look good, feel good. Second is dial it up. Make sure that this looks great. And then third, make it feel like exercise. Three, two, one. And we're going to wrap it up with a little bit of active recovery. Well done on finishing your four minutes. You all are rock stars. I hope you kept really close attention to your form. I hope you feel good. That's always our goal. All right, now this last minute, like we said, is active recovery. Two key words there, right? Recovery, you're stretching, you're starting to warm down, cool down a little bit, but you're staying active, right? We're, we're grouping those together and we do that for two reasons. One, recovery, we want you to grab a breath. We want you to be ready for the next thing, whatever it is. The next thing could be that you're done and you're just going about your day. That's, that's a perfectly fine next thing. The other part of it could be that you've got more workout left to do. A reminder, sometimes we recommend more, right? We might have you do another flow or a little bit of yoga or maybe a strength thing. If that's on the agenda, you'll begin that as soon as you're done here. If it's not on the agenda, you're done. Give yourself a high five or a pat on the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent workout. We are so glad you joined us. Let's let Maggie wrap us up. Well, hey everyone, Maggie here. Say, we would love for you to subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more workout videos with different focuses and different lengths of time that we would love for you to check out. And if you subscribe, you'll kind of always be in the loop on what we're coming up with. Thanks again for joining us, gang. Make it a great day.